Hello, this is a workshop on weaving using recyclable materials. Here are some examples of some weavings that you could make at home. Some are made from fabric and some are made from wool or you could mix materials together. You could even use paper or even plastic. Anything that would be flexible enough to weave with. So some of my weavings are just fabrics and wools that I've just found and put together and some are based on actual images that I've seen. So this one I found an image of some pink flowers and I used pink fabric and ribbon and red wool to create this weaving. Also you could look at magazines to find images or colours just to inspire you with your designs. The weavings you create could be used as coasters, they could be used as artwork or even joined together to make something larger. So to begin with, the materials that you're going to need are going to be cardboard, you're going to need a pen and some scissors and a ruler and then lots of different fabrics. So these are fabrics where I've either cut up clothing that isn't used anymore or ribbon and just other bits and pieces that have been laying around the house. So to start I need to create my loom and my loom is what I'm going to use to weave from. So using a piece of cardboard I'm going to measure along either end and what I want to do is mark at one centimetre intervals and this will allow me to know where I'm going to cut into to create my notches in my loom which will secure my thread or string that I'm going to weave through. Once I've done this, using a pair of scissors I need to just cut a fraction in to where I've actually made my mark. So you can see on this board I've got my notches all along one end and all along the other. I then need to decide what I'm going to use to create my loom. So I've just got some wool here and this is just some scrap wool I had left over and to begin with I'm going to put my wool through one of the notches at the end and the notch helps to grip the wool into place and I'm going to wind that around the board until I find the notch at the bottom. Once I've finished my weaving through my board to create my loom, I need to cut the end and then just with the loose end I'm going to tie that into a knot so that it secures it. So once we've created our loom by weaving all the thread around we're going to start weaving. So from my fabrics I'm going to choose some red wool and this red wool is quite thick so it should be quite easy to weave with. So to join it to the loom it needs to be tied to the first thread with quite a firm knot and then what you need to do is to weave it in and out of these strings so you need to think about going under and over as you work your way across the loom. So once I've done the first row I now need to do the second row. So if I've gone over a thread my second row I need to go under it and if I've gone under a thread before I need to go over it. until I get to the other end and then I'm just going to tuck them down together 
so again so I don't get any holes in my weaving. So now if I want to attach a new piece of thread because I want to change colour or I've come to the end I can choose from my pile of fabrics. I'm going to choose some orange ribbon. So I've got a length of orange ribbon. So to join it I'm going to bring the two ends together of the piece that I've been weaving with in my new piece and I'm just going to knot them together quite firmly so they're quite secure and then I can carry on weaving and I would just carry on going adding more material, more thread until I've covered my whole board And here on this board, I used wool and I've used a mixture of fabric and then I've finished with wool. So I've come to the end. So the very last thing I want to do is again, secure this end to my weaving. So I'm going to go through the last thread at the bottom, pull that through, and I'm just going to create a knot. And now I need to remove my weaving off of my board. So to do this, I'm just going to flip it over and then getting my scissors, I'm just going to trim that end of wool off and I need to cut through the back of my loom. So I'm just going to cut through the strings on the back and then I turn my border back over and I'm just going to very gently remove these strings off of my loom and now I can remove my cardboard loom to use again later and I've got my piece of weaving but I now need to secure it all in place so to do this I'm going to knot each pair of threads at both ends. So I'm just going all the way across and knotting those together. So what I've got here now is I've got my weaving I can either have it from the back or from the front and if I want to I could trim these edges to make it a bit neater or I could leave them long but I think with this one I'm just going to leave them long. So that's an example of my weaving so now for you to have a go and I hope you enjoy it. So I've shown you how to weave using fabric and wool but I now want to show you how you can also weave using paper and fabric and wool and even tinsel so you're combining lots of materials together. So now I've come to the end of my weaving with my fabric I'm going to introduce some paper because you can weave with paper as well as with fabric. So I've got a variety of things, I've got white photocopy paper, newsprint, uh, paper bags from shopping, bits of wrapping paper and you can even paint just plain paper with a colour if you want to add colour. I've got bits of tissue paper and also I've got Christmas decorations so you can even add a bit of Christmas tinsel in with your weaving. So the first thing you need to do is to create a strip that's suitable for weaving. And I'm now going to fold it and I want the colour that I've painted to be on the outside and the whiter paper to be on the inside. So I can now add the paper to my loom. So I start from the end where I finish the fabric weaving and I'm just going to tie that in a knot to secure that to my loom. 
so that's in a knot now and then starting from this end over it so I'm going to pull it through but leave a bit of an end loose and then I'm going to fold my paper back on itself and I'm going to repeat So I finished with that piece of paper. I'm just going to leave a long end there and then I'm going to start with another piece of paper. So this time I'm going to use some tissue paper. If I can just tie a knot to one end around the paper to keep it in place. But don't pull too tight or you'll rip it. And I'm going to do the same the other end. So I've now got my rolled paper and again I can thread this through the weaving. And I've got to the end. So you can see I'm gradually building up my weaving but going from fabric to the paper. So as you can see I've now got to the end of my weaving and I've included lots of different materials. I've included some tissue paper, some more pink paper, newsprint, wrapping paper and I've even used some of the tinsel that I suggested. So I'm just going to go under my last cord on my frame. So again you're going to just cut through the middle cords. So just as before you need to knot the pairs of threads together. So I'm going to take my first two threads and I'm just going to knot them twice. And I've secured this row quite firmly. So I now need to do exactly the same to the other end. And you can see how well the wool and the fabric and the different types of paper and the tinsel all work together.